Hello everybody, I'm Kyle. And I'm Everett. And today, we're going to review the 2018 Kia Rio 5-door hatch. Now, the Rio is Kia's entry-level compact car. It competes with others in the segment, such as the Honda Fit, Chevy Sonic, and Ford Fiesta. Uh, so I'm gonna pass it off to Everett, though, right off the bat. What do you think of the interior and exterior of their compact car? Well, um, with the exterior, you know, I think the styling is actually pretty minimalistic. Yeah. I think it's uh, not really, like, super out there. Um, you know, it's just right. pretty low-key. Right, low-key, And yeah. uh, However, the interior, though, I think they actually did a really good job um, with this package that we have here. We have the burgundy interior. It's on the seats yeah, and on the five, dash. Yeah, it's a $500 option for that. So yeah. I, feel, I like it because when it's all black, it's like a huge the sea of black, right? So for 500 bucks you get the burgundy slash red inserts on the doors, on the front panels, and in the seats. I really think it's worth it. You know, it kind of creates a nice contrast on the interior, so it's not just one big black seat. Yeah, I also think they did a really good job um, with the materials that they have, uh -huh. you know, in making the interior. Yes. With a more affordable car like this, you know, like, you're not going to expect to see the most high quality materials. Right. But also the st but the styling that they did do with those materials that uh -huh. they, you know, use is really nice and I do think it accentuates a lot of the features yeah. of the vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. And, and I also, you know, to sort of to that point, I like the vent control, the air control buttons, right? So, mm -hmm. again, you know, you can tell they're not they're not you know super fancy or anything but they look nice you know they have this uh, silver accent around them I like the you know the colors vibrant and it looks pretty good um, the other thing too is this leather wrap steering wheel for the steering wheel and so, you know it's like really soft oh yeah and, yeah it's actually really great for the segment nicest steering wheel in the segment by far it's stitched inside has a silver accent here as you can see tons of different button controls really great steering wheel I just honestly you know in a car like this right that doesn't have a lot you know, a lot of features, then, you know, steering wheel becomes, you know, a pretty big deal. The gauges are really nice, too, honestly. Yeah, yeah, no, I, like, I like the gauges. You know, they're vibrant, the, the red needles look nice, and I feel like the coloring in them, it's really crisp, and yeah, I feel like, again, they, they did a good job making them look higher end um, yeah. than the gauge, as far as, you know, the gauges go. So, a uh, little disappointed, though, we have this nice screen, multimedia system screen here, which is, of course, you know, a good thing. Uh, can do Bluetooth streaming, satellite radio, I think satellite radio at least. And the only thing though is it just it does not have any navigation. So yeah, yeah. kind of disappointing. This model run right here, around almost twenty thousand dollars actually. Mm -hmm. Right. So the base starts around fifteen. Um, and the base model actually has crank windows. Yeah. And uh, you know it starts with a manual transmission. You cannot get a manual transmission on anything but the base model, so that's disappointing. Yeah, and I will say, like, although there actually is quite a bit of legroom up in these front seats, the rear seats, it's like, you know, really tight on the legroom, and that's like another, I guess, disappointing factor for me. Right. You know, like, being a passenger in, you know, the back or whatever, I could definitely see how that would be an inconvenience. Like a cramp, yes. Yeah. yeah. No, and then, as far as driving goes, you know, we have a four-cylinder, a four you know, I-4. Uh, creates around 130 horsepower, similar torque, I want to say around 120 uh, to 130. Um, it's not, you know, it's adic It's barely adequate, I'd say barely adequate, right, for the segment mm -hmm. uh, in this car. Uh, it would be nice to have a little more power, but the economy is good. You, know, you can get around 35 on the highway, you know, the mid, mid to high 20s in the city. So, you know, pretty average there. All, again, all the cars in the segment are, you know, within you know that four cylinder range a zero to 60 on this thing's around 10 11 seconds well, the six speed transmission is responsive so i'd say you know the driving overall um it's nothing to write home about but there's also nothing wrong with it and i kind of feel that's what this car is overall right so it's you know it's a nice car it you know fits pretty well in the segment but there's really nothing spectacular about it either there's nothing bad but there's you know nothing spectacular what do you what do you think yeah no i i agree with you i think it's you know uh it's like an, with an affordable vehicle like this, you know, you're going to have some compromises. Right. Um, and I do think they did well, like, with what they, you know, have made it to be. But I also think, you know, there are some, you know, creature comforts that, you know, you don't have here, which right. you, know, you may have in, you know, a different, you know, category. Right. But, yeah. yeah. And I, you know, for $20,000, it would be nice to see heated steering wheel and heated seats. Mm -hmm. um, that is actually available on the European model of the Rio, but not the American one. Not oh, wow. Model. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today on this quick review of uh, 2018 Kia Rio. Feel free to check out our extended video if you want to hear us talk a whole lot more. <laughs> that's all we have for today. I'm Kyle. I'm Everett. Thanks for watching.